Hello, this is Father Jim Kabicki, and I'm sure you know who the most traveled pope in history was, Pope John Paul II. Less than three years before his death, he made his last trip outside of Europe, traveling to North America for World Youth Day in Toronto and for a special occasion in Mexico. On July 31st, 2002, he canonized a Native American named Juan Diego, who had seen the Blessed Virgin Mary and received the imprint of her image on his poncho. Pope John Paul began his homily with words from chapter 11 of Matthew's Gospel. At that time, Jesus said, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. St. Juan Diego is an example of this and of what St. Paul said in his first letter to the Corinthians, that God chooses the weak to shame the strong of this world. Do you feel weak? You're in good company. Join me now in the prayer Pope John Paul used at the end of his homily. Happy Juan Diego, true and faithful man, we entrust to you our lay brothers and sisters so that feeling the call to holiness, they may imbue every area of social life with the spirit of the gospel. Bless families, strengthen spouses in their marriage, sustain the efforts of parents to give their children a Christian upbringing. Look with favor upon the pain of those who are suffering in body or in spirit, on those afflicted in poverty, loneliness, marginalization or ignorance. May all people, civic leaders and ordinary citizens always act in accordance with the demands of justice and with respect for the dignity of each person so that in this way peace may be reinforced. Beloved Juan Diego, show us the way that leads to the Virgin that she may receive us in the depths of her heart for she is the loving, compassionate mother who guides us to the true God. Amen. For more information, visit our website at www.apostleshipofprayer.org.